and welcome back to a kumit help youtube channel this is another video of spring boot tutorial series thank you for all your support please do hit a like button and subscribe this channel okay so this is our application that we are developing okay so let me modify this one as per the standard restful api rules that we discussed in last video last couple of video so I would recommend you if you not still go through that video please click on that i icon and see this video first and then come into this okay so what we said like uh, we first have to identify the resources so in our cases let's let's assume our resource name is user so what the url should be users as a ruler okay and the next one is like let me remove all this parameter because that returns the list of user as of now i am just returning a message like a welcome message and then we'll modify it further okay so don't worry about this one and let me start my application okay in the meantime let me remove this one this is as this is not needed okay now you can see the application is starting okay now it's started let me go to the browser localhost colon users now you can see this one is a get method and that returns a welcome message okay so the next one is i want to modify as per it returns some list of users so what i'll do uh, i'll let me uh, check as this let me change to list and that list i'm creating a list object of users is equal to new array list okay mm, java util list import this package Mm, okay and let me create a map of users map user equal to new hash new hash map user dot put i am adding one user here with name this is just a sample uh, i am giving you i'll modify as of now everything is statics we'll add a database and do the database connection so everything will do this is i'm just showing you like how you can do it so users dot add object and user okay i'm returning users so what i did here like i have created a map in which key value pair one is the name as a key and value is prashant and then i have added into that list and that list i am returning as i have already changed to this list okay let me refresh this page and let's see what happen okay now you can see this is returning a uh, value as a key value pair object you can see okay so in this way right now this is all about the hard coded static value 
will do the database connectivity as well okay apart from that let me cover one more thing okay so this is my get method i want to keep this as a post as well okay and how do you test it so for this you have a very nice tool that is called postman so you can download it from the google and i mean test it local host colon 9090 slash users okay when i click on this head you will see the response is coming as a user so in this way you can change it to the post method as what you have created here okay now let me modify let me add as a class i am adding a class request mapping at the rate request mapping for a class i am going to add this request mapping here slash example slash v1 slash users i have added here so what i need to do let me remove this from because i don't need i have already added a user so i'll keep it as a blank okay so the now my api this is my uh, you can say this is your parent so every request will start like this and as of now this is a get method so i don't have to add anything so we'll just keep this copy this url and go to browser instead of user just put it like this okay if you hit enter you'll see the response is coming so in this way you can modify your application url as per the standard so this is one of the standard rule that we already covered okay so in the same way this is for the get method that returns like uh, querying it if you want to do it as a post so for this you can do the same way and create a post method so we'll cover all these things and we'll do the uh, database connectivity with h2 database we'll also see about uh, this like uh, gpa spring data G gpa connectivity so stay tuned for more video don't forget to like and subscribe thank you